Hello, this is Minister Paul, Northern California. How is everybody doing today? It's 10.33 a.m. on April 7, 2014. I saw something I've never seen before last night in the sky. I tried to get video of it. I did record a little bit, but I haven't checked my camcorder because I don't think I got much of it because of the darkness, but I was coming out of the hallway looking directly north out my back sliding glass door. And I saw this thing descending that was brighter than anything I've ever seen. I explained it as being brighter than the moon. It was brighter than the stars. And it was big. It was big. I mean... This thing was the hugest thing I've ever seen up there. And I called my wife over and I had her watch as a witness. And it comes down from left to right. And I'm just watching it in amazement. I'm like, what is that? Because it was moving slower than a regular fireball. And I've been watching them for years. And then it kind of turned towards the east. It was strange. It was it was not a plane. It was not a jet. It was just a pure white object. And it started flying towards the east. Pardon me by another Huey flies over. <laughs> and, um, and then it just vanished. And it vanished high up in the air. The, the fireballs I've seen usually come much lower. And so, and here's the thing about this fireball, or whatever it was. I've reported it as a fireball. I, I was like, it, it was peaceful. Do you know what I'm saying? It, it was, there was no fear. God has been doing an amazing thing in my life, and I pray that he does it for everybody listening to this video. He's put me in a peaceful place where all of these things happen all around me, worldwide. Everything that Matthew 24 talks about is happening, really. He's given me this deep peace, this feeling of security as I wake, as I go to sleep. Uh, it's just something I can't explain. He's renewed this great peace in my life. Does anybody else feel like that? So I want to show you how this kind of went. See that yellow pin? Um, that's where I live. That's the starting point. So if you look up due north and you see there's a 99 right here. It's coming down at an angle this way. It's, uh, it's coming down at an angle and then it turns this way and vanishes. It wasn't as east as Bill was either. There's nothing where it was. That... And so I put in Dixon, California here. Someone else reported one in Dixon. I want to show you where this is and how similar what they reported is to what I reported. So someone reported it from Dixon, which I lived uh, for one year in 1984 uh, when I got out of the military. I'm going to show you. This is Dixon, California. Look how close it is. That's five. It runs the length of the state. Now, now let me pan back out so you can get an idea how close we were together in reporting this. You see the yellow pin? And then Dixon. So now let me go to the fireball report site. And, okay, here's Dixon reporting it. I want you to take notice of the, the level. The magnitude is the brightness. This person named Mark C. reported it as a, a magnitude brightness of 20. Uh, he reported at 336 universal time or 8.36 p.m. Pacific time on 4.6.
I reported it at 8.35 Pacific Time from Plumas Lake on the same day. And then I reported as an 18. I might have under-reported the brightness, uh, but it's a sliding scale it gives you to use. And look how similar everything else is. So he reports, looked more like a missile. No tail. See, the thing I saw was just round spear, an orb. But it, w it wasn't, how can I explain this? It looked supernatural. Maybe it was an angel. I don't know. I know that there was no fear associated with this. I, the Bible talks of signs in the heavens and the moon, the stars, etc. No tail, very bright white. Now, and as it descended, turned pink, then red, then disappeared. So we have very similar uh, reporting here. Mine did the same thing. During its descent, it was very bright. It had no tail. <sighs> Hallelujah. And then disappeared. So now let's go to my report that I just submitted this morning. This is me right here. I put, it was very bright. Brighter than the moon. It seemed to be moving slower than most fireballs. Then kind of turned towards the east and vanished behind dark clouds. Never seen anything like it. Now, I have given these people my phone number. If they want to discuss, I'd like to. Uh, but I know. I know in my heart that this was a sign and, and this was an event. So I'm going to monitor this and if they update it, I'll, I'll post a link and I'll post a link to this. This they When you investigate them, when they, I mean, when the, the AMS investigates them, they, they post them as pending and then they do their investigation with the people who saw one. Look, here's Fremont, California. Uh, They'll make some calls. They'll, they'll see if it's a cluster of reports in the same area. Sonoma, even Vegas. I believe that this was all the same fireball because it's all within the, the same time. 3.30, 3.25. Let's look at Sonoma, California. Same magnitude reported. Does he list any notes? All right, cool. This one also reports that it's disappearing uh, at quite high. This, this is amazing. I didn't even see this. It appeared to burn out similar to a Roman candle. Hey, this is California Highway 37. Hold on now. Things are getting interesting. And the other thing I've noticed similar in these reports is the duration. I re reported it lasting a... Uh, uh, Four seconds, between two to five seconds is the option I chose. This poor person reported it for seven seconds, up to down. So let's see where this person lives, and then I'll just finish the video. And, and uh, I just want to say that there's a feeling of peace. There's a feeling of security that the Lord has given me. And if you want to know this feeling, you can only experience it through Jesus Christ. That's true. I say that with no shame. Look at this half, California 37. So he saw it towards the east. I'm telling you, we saw the same thing. I have not done this in advance. Let it be for a sign. He said he saw it towards uh, Highway 37. which is over here to the east. And then the other person saw it in Dixon, which is like right in here. And then there's the pin. So what do you think it was? Just thought I'd update you with a quick video. I'm going to do a Bible study today. I'm praying on which one to do. Uh, I thank you all for being a part of my life. We love you. And you know, the king is coming. There's signs everywhere. Signs that line up with this word. Are you ready? Are you looking up? Are you full of joy? Amen.